Hello everyone and welcome to the technical appointment of the Ital Technical World. Have you ever wondered, do I have to install an expansion tank in the system? Where should it be placed? Do I have to change the preload pressure? Today we will understand why and how to add an expansion tank to the system. The expansion tank is a vessel that is connected to the water system. It consists of an external metal casing and an internal rubber membrane, the latter expanding with the increase in water pressure. Compressed air is contained between this membrane and the metal part, and it will repeal the water inside the tank and put it back into the system. There are various types in the market with different capacities. Having an expansion tank in the system means having a stable pressure, protection from water hammer, and avoiding continuous restarting of electric pump. In fact, when the taps are open for small water withdrawals, the tank will compensate for the water drone and will not start the pump. The expansion tank must be always mounted after our pump plus control unit. The pre-charge pressure of the tank must be kept lower than our starting pressure by at least 0.5 bar. For example, if my starting pressure is set to 2 bar on the inverter, the pre-charge will have to be 1.5 bar. The pre-charge must always be done with the exhaust system and through the appropriate valve. With the use of a pressure switch, it's mandatory to install an expansion tank of at least 24 liters. If a tank should break, the pressure switch will begin to perform repeated start and stop. In case of pressure flow switch like our Brio, Brio tank or Brio top, we can install a small size vessel of 2 or 5 liters in the system. In the inverters, the expansion tank improves the starting ramp and stabilizes the stop pressure, especially in the presence of these system conditions. As always, we remind you that for any information we are at your disposal both on our social channel and on the website. Thanks to everyone and see you next time.